In this problem, we're going to construct a circuit for this Boolean expression. So the way to do this is to start with the outermost operation in this expression, which is OR. And then what you do is you draw the corresponding gate on the far right. So we have an OR, so I'm going to put the OR gate way over here on the right. So here is our OR gate. And now we have to think about the inputs. This OR gate has two inputs, and both of them seem to come from AND gates. So we're going to draw two AND gates. I'll do one here. That's a really badly drawn AND gate, OK? And I guess I'll draw the other one equally badly. There we go. <laughs> it's not great, but it works. There's our AND gate. And these, these are going into the OR gate. Let's focus on this first one here. So this first one will take P, which is no problem, and it'll also take uh, the negation of Q. So we're going to need a NOT gate. So I'm going to put a NOT gate right here and take it there. And Q is going to go into this NOT gate. I'll go ahead and draw the Q and put it in that NOT gate. And we said P is also going into uh, this AND gate. So I'll go ahead and do that there as well. Now let's focus on the second piece. So here we have uh, not P and R, right? So that's going into this bottom AND gate. So we need another not. So I'm going to do this. Not. And this is going to go into the AND gate. So P has to go through here. So I'll take this P and bring it down and pass it through that gate. And then R also goes into that gate, into the AND gate. So we're here. We should definitely check our answer because this one was a little bit more complicated than some of the other examples that we've done. So let's go through it very carefully. So let's see. Q is going through the NOT gate. It's going to give us NOT Q. P is going through the NOT gate. It's going to give us NOT P. Whoops, NOT P. Let me just fix that. NOT P. There we go. All right, now let's focus on this AND gate. This AND gate has P and NOT Q. So this is P and not Q. I'll put it in parentheses for added clarity, right? You have the P up top and then not Q. This AND gate down here has not P and R. So not P and R. And now we just take these two inputs into the OR gate and that will give us P and not Q or not P and R. And that looks 100% correct. Good stuff. I hope this video has been helpful.